In this video, I'll take a look at the Paul Rubens watercolor palette. This large plastic case is available in pink or blue and has two removable insert trays inside. When the top mixing tray and the 24 well bottom paint tray are removed, you're left with a flat plastic box that securely latches closed and can be customized to hold a lot of paint. The hinge allows this case to open flat, so both the base and the lid could be used to hold pans, or you could use the lid for a mixing area. The lid is slightly smaller than the base, so the order of these insert trays cannot be swapped. I'll briefly go over its basic use with the trays in place first, but then I'll show you how I used it to organize some of my watercolors. This was really useful, especially when wanting to set up a container that would fit any size trays side by side, like full size pans, half pans, extra large gonsai trays, or mini sample pans. While this container is too big to specifically be for traveling, you could custom organize it in a way to store paper, pens, water brushes, and anything else you might need to bring on a trip. The lower 24 well tray has really long wells, the length of two full pans or more than four half pans wide. This is pretty nice for using your tube paints with large brushes. You can easily maneuver large and flat head brushes that are difficult to load from your pan sets in these larger wells. You could even do fun experiments like setting up multiple colors of paint on one end to do one stroke painting techniques. Here I used the Paul Rubens Opera Tube Paints and Neon Blacklight Reactive Watercolor to make quick and easy wall decorations. This type of fluorescent project can be great for party events or kids' rooms, but you could use any type of watercolor or gouache in here and it would be easy to wipe up. I think there's too much room for watercolors to rattle around once dried, so I'd probably only use these trays for wet paint during that particular project. The silicone seal around the edges of the lid might keep tube paints fresh for brief periods of time, but I would not expect it to keep acrylics or quickly drying paints wet for more than a day when the lid is closed. This palette container was perfect for combining the two Paul Rubens 48 pan sets, including their standard colors and the Mica glitter sets. All of these 96 pans could fit in here with plenty of room left over for more empty pans that I could squeeze two paints into. While this is quite a big palette measuring about 6 by 12 inches, it is much more compact than having multiple metal tin sets out, especially if you add on boxes of tube paints as well. I find that reorganizing my paint collections this way promotes me actually using all of my colors more often, particularly colors between different sets that I may not have taken out all at once otherwise. I decided to take out both trays so I could fit a second layer of paints on a removable cardboard insert. I waterproof sealed this piece of cardboard with packing tape. I also sealed a piece of paper to fit into the bottom before adhering any paint pans inside. That way I'd be able to easily swap out colors at any time. I laid the cardboard insert on top of the bottom layer of paints. When the container is open, I just moved them into the lid area. Let your paints dry for a few minutes before closing the box again, and there really shouldn't be much of a mess involved in stacking them. Now you've got a container that will fit 140 regular full-size pants, 154 of the slightly smaller White Knights brand pans, or up to 256 half pans when utilizing both layers. That's a darn good option for organizing a big paint collection, especially if you need the freedom of open space to fit different sizes of pans from multiple brands. I'm currently using my second Paul Rubens container to organize my White Knights watercolor collection. 
I was able to fit 77 White Knights pans into the bottom area. Considering the White Knights plastic palette designed to hold 36 pans is not much smaller than this case, I'm thrilled I can condense my collection in here. For sticky honey-based liquid board paints like White Knights or Roman Schmall, you may also be able to simply adhere the pans to the inside of the lid with double-sided tape. That would result in those paints being upside down when the case is closed, but the paint doesn't typically fall out of that type of tray, so I'm just throwing that option out there if you don't like the idea of adding a cardboard insert. I'd love to hear what you think, and if you've got a favorite storage solution for your watercolor paint collection, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see more, you can find all of my detailed swatch card images, results from my independent light fast testing, and other art supply reviews on my website. I'm currently building a huge pigment database where thousands of colors can be compared side by side with paint from other brands. Updates about this project, along with line art drawings and high res color scans, are also available on Patreon. Thanks for watching.